Hey folks, welcome to uh, one of my first videos. This is uh, on the game War Robots. Now, um, I picked up this game a few years ago on my iPhone and iPad and uh, have been sort of playing it on and off ever since. Um, recently, uh, I came across it on the PC, so it is actually available through uh, Steam. It's a free game. Um, obviously, there's a pay-to-play element in it, but uh, it's been a lot of fun, so... Um, I'm just going to go through and show you some of the features of this game and uh, hopefully um, if you've got Steam, um, go and grab it, definitely recommend it. It's uh, a lot of fun and uh, it's a great community backing it so, um, you know, with any game where there's sort of a nice uh, background community where you can get tips, tri tr uh, tips and tricks and all sorts of uh, content, um, you know, those, those sort of games are, are really appealing. and. Uh, if I didn't mention it before, it is actually free. So um, let's just go through and I'll show you some of uh, what this game's about. And hopefully, um, if you like it, you'll uh, go out and grab a copy. Okay, so the first thing is obviously your hangar. This is uh, obviously where your robots are kept. Now, when you first start this game, you start off with uh, one robot slot. Um, but uh, as you uh, progress through the game you can actually upgrade those slots um, to add additional robots so uh, I'll just go in quickly and show you so if you uh, go to change robot you normally start with uh, the little Destrial so this is this is your starter bot um, basically just a uh, little two weapon um, setup here so you actually choose uh, your different types of weapons for this robot just adding a couple of uh, small light weapons. Now each uh, each weapon slot has a um, light, medium or heavy um, factor to it. So you can actually, uh, as you progress up, your robots get different uh, slot types so you can equip different types of weapons. Um, so when you're choosing a weapon, obviously, you know, you're looking at uh, things like damage, range, the reload times. Um, so just for an example, we'll equip a different weapon here. So, obviously this is a uh, flaming weapon that I've just equipped. Um, great little weapon in the game. Obviously a little bit of skill getting to aim it and to uh, make sure you're doing maximum damage. But uh, it has a consistent sort of output um, and then a reload time. So these sort of weapons are, are really great in the game. Um, unfortunately you don't tend to sort of see these weapons until you uh, level up till about uh, 15 and onwards. But um, yeah, as a uh, as a general rule of thumb, um, weapons are kind of the key to the game. So, you know, you'll always get different robot chassis, but uh, weapons kind of remain the same, and it's a, a matter of um, equipping and uh, upgrading the right sort of weapon types. So, I'll just remove these now, obviously, because uh, I don't use this chassis anymore. So uh, one of the largest elements with this game is um, upgrading your robots and your weapons. Now when you're starting off, I can't recommend this enough, upgrade your weapons first. Um, you know, you'll always have those sort of weapons and you'll be able to use them across different bots. But uh, the robots themselves, just level them up to a point. So I'm, I'm going to show you, uh, for example, my Scorpion. So this, this is one of my favourite bots in the game at the moment. It's a, it's a fairly new robot, um, just came out uh, about a month and a half ago. Um, this robot has uh, been a lot of fun. Um, if you ever get a chance to pick up one of these, uh, definitely it's uh, an enjoyable way to play uh, all robots these days. But um, when you're doing upgrades, so in this case I'll be upgrading to the next level from 9 to 10. And so as you can see with each upgrade, it either adds hit points, speed, um, this is the built-in weapon that the Scorpion has, so obviously it does more damage as you upgrade the robot, but it comes at a cost, so silver. So as you can see, I've only got 37 million silver left here, and it's uh, 36 to upgrade this to the next level. It's obviously a little bit pricey for me to do that at the moment, but uh, basically all my robots, so basically go and try and upgrade the cheapest first. So, for example, upgrading the Rhyme weapons on the Blitz, um, it's a 17 million cost, so they'll sort of be the next weapons to get an upgrade. 
and as you see from the next upgrade it plus is 96 damage um, and the freeze effect that this weapon has uh, increases by another 3% so um, making sure that you upgrade those weapons is definitely the way to go in this game. Uh, I found that in the early game I was upgrading the robots to get sort of more durability and uh, be able to stay in the fight longer but uh, if you're not dealing that damage um, it, it tends to get a sort of very difficult game sort of mid-play um, just because everyone's got uh, higher level weapons and they can basically shoot your bot down before you even get to do anything. Um, weapons range is, is a very big thing in this game. So depending how far you are in the game um, will depend on if you're a ranged weapon player or a mid, uh, mid level player, mid range player and uh, a short range player. So I'm sort of transitioning from that mid range to sort of short range brawling. So all of my weapons are basically um, close in brawling weapons. So most effective within sort of 100 meters to zero meter range. Um, you get nice and close and deal your maximum amount of damage. So I mean, this, this is a shotgun style weapon and uh, it's, it has a 500 meter range, but at 500 meters you're barely doing any damage. The closer you get to the target, the more damage it does. So you've got like projectile shotgun weapons and then like the Corona, which is a um, energy shotgun. Um, these weapons are very effective within that close range sort of brawling distance. Um, I'll show you some action clips later in the game where it demonstrates brawlers versus long range. Uh, some of the maps have uh, quite a long range to them so it does help to have a little bit of range. Um, just enable you to deal a bit of damage before uh, getting within that sort of close combat um, sort of stance. In my um, next video I'll go through some of the more advanced features of this game but uh, basically uh, we want to uh, get into a battle so the nice big orange button on the top right there is a dead giveaway so I'll click to battle. Now in the Steam version there's not as many battle options obviously because there's not as many players so quick match and skirmish um, are available right off the bat sometimes the skirmish will uh, change modes so you won't see the skirmish but uh, quick match, it's essentially just as easy as clicking that and going to battle. So depending on how many players are on will depend what sort of time it takes to get into the game, in this case quite quickly. So um, dropping into battle you choose your first bot now. Carrier map, which is uh, this one here. It's um, sort of a great map to uh, get in close range because there's plenty of places to hide, move up through cover. So in front of us we got a little blitz. So we'll follow him up. Okay, we're going up against a full squad so <laughs> some of the other players are botting out. But uh, we'll, 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 uh, we'll see if we can uh, deal a bit of damage to Peru. <laughs> So you're going to get games where players are absolutely maxed out. Um, for me, I've got no hope of uh, <laughs> winning this match with my team. But you get games like this, so just persevere through it. Play as well as you can. It gives you a great opportunity to practice with lots of skills. So even if you are getting going to get beaten, don't bot out. I mean, no one likes a quitter, right? Uh, keep playing through and, and do the very best you can. So as you see, like I've got a different range of bots that have different abilities and uh, as you progress through the game, you know, each one has a sort of unique style to it. Um, that's what I love about this game, you know, it's, it's uh, you can change your gameplay based on your robot, your weapons type. We're getting absolutely crushed in this one, but uh, do what you can. So as you see, a lot of the players are sort of 
sort of given up. Um, Peru are a very strong clan. I've played many, many a game against these guys. They're really good players. Really, really high level stuff. Uh, big shout out to the guys there. We've had lots of games. But uh, you just gotta, gotta grin and take it sometimes. Losing is part of any game. Yep, so that's pretty much me. I botted out, but as you can see, you know, it's only one member left in my team. But this is probably a really good demonstration of how much carnage you can go on throughout a game. So as you're waiting for the next, uh, or this match to end, you can just scroll through and see what the other players are doing. So that's, that's a complete defeat. Now, for each battle that you play, you get points um, which go towards getting resources or to leveling you up to the next uh, sort of level. Um, if you've got pilots on your robot, you get a little bit of pilot experience, so these helps level it up. So I'll, I'll go through all of this in more detail um, next time uh, I do a video. But uh, yeah, big shout out to the guys at Peru. Thanks for uh, absolutely <laughs> kicking the crap out of us. Um, but uh, no, that's, that's, that's how the game goes. Um, I'll get games where, you know, I'll be the over-leveled one and uh, absolutely destroy the battlefield, but uh, then you get games where you're the underling and uh, get absolutely destroyed, and that's kind of the motivation for me to keep leveling up and get a bit better and uh, practice at uh, using my bot's abilities better. You just, uh, yeah, don't don't quit, guys. It, it's, it's a game, and, uh, you know, everyone gets sort of points and scores for... for battling it out, so persevere and uh, work your way through it. Well anyway guys, thanks for uh, joining me with my first video, I hope um, it's been helpful. I can't recommend enough if you have a, a computer and um, have Steam installed, get this game. Um, you're going to really enjoy it. Again, it is free and uh, it doesn't use a lot of resources on your computer, so you can have a sort of older computer and play this game quite well. I mean, if, if your computer's about the same sort of strength as a iPad or iPhone, um, you're going to be able to play this game. So, you know, it, it, it's not heavy on the 3D graphics, so you don't need the latest and greatest 3D effects cards to play this game. Um, in my rig now, I'm playing it with the GTX 6, 660, so, uh, you know, again, you, you don't need ridiculous specs to uh, play this game, and I'm, I'm pretty much playing it at full resolution. Um, yeah, so guys, enjoy. Um, remember to uh, like and subscribe, um, please. Uh, and if you want to see more content or uh, if you'd like to know more, pop a comment in the comments below and uh, I'll get back to you soon and uh, hopefully um, get you into the game. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys, and uh, enjoy War Robots.